Hey guys, my name is Chris, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a diagram software. It's called eDraw Max Pro, and it is an absolutely amazing tool, especially for the price. Now, if you want to follow along with me, you can download a trial version of this by going to swtrials.net forward slash eDraw. That link is also directly under this video. If you click on it, it'll take you to this page you're seeing in the video right now where you can uh, download a free trial of it for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, you can also have the option to buy it. And there are um, there's tons of information on this website that you can check out. I'm obviously not going to go in the details of everything about how eDraw Max works, but I am going to show you the software uh, just to give you a better idea of what it is. Uh, like I said, you can download that trial and follow along with me. So once you download it and install it and open the software, this is what you're going to get in the trial version. And I was actually quite blown away by how many different templates they already have pre-made for uh, almost any industry you can think of. You can see down through here on the left side, uh, this video is in HD, so if you can't read this text, you can maximize your screen and you should be able to read this better. But you can see here some basic diagrams. You can also start your own by just clicking on the blank drawing here. Uh, you can see different charts that are listed here under just basic diagrams. There's business diagrams uh, for cards. Uh, I'm not too crazy about using it for the cards, but they're there for the option if you want to. Different kinds of charts, about any kind of chart you can think of they have here. Clip arts, and you will find out here in a minute when I open one of these up that there are tons and tons of clip art you can do to add to any of these diagrams to make them really stand out. Uh, database, engineering, fashion design, floor plans. These are very detailed and it's quite amazing how detailed you can get with these uh, using the software. There's flow chart you can create. You can build forms, custom forms. Uh, industrial automation. I was surprised to see uh, something like this in there. Infographics, maps, mind maps, network, organizational charts, presentations, project management, science, software, wireframe, and there's recent templates here that you've previously used. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump right into one here on the floor plan. And you can see the kinds of templates you can create right here. Or we can get down here to examples that are already made up. And I'm going to go ahead and select one of these just to show you a little bit more of what they look like. Because right now, when you look at it here, you can you notice how familiar this is if you're currently using the 2016 version of the Microsoft products. Uh, and what we're going to do is just double click on Office, and it's going to open up a new window. And this looks like Microsoft Word layout now. So if you're familiar with that, you're not going to have any problems with it. And uh, at the same time, it looks like it's a mix. It actually looks like it's a mix of Microsoft Word and PowerPoint together. So if you're familiar with those applications, you're going to fly through this. But when you open this up, it's automatically going to uh, give you a library of clip arts based upon um, the selection that you chose here. So we done. Uh, this building here, so it's automatically going to open up all these libraries for us for sofas and chairs and bathrooms, plants, furniture, and we can change these libraries or even pick uh, clip arts out from other libraries by just clicking on this little icon here for libraries. We can create our own. Uh, we can go to ones that already exist. Uh, for example, let's just go to um, just go to flowchart. And if you go over any of these, it'll show you the items that are, or the clip art that's within each one of those. So if we go to map, it's going to show you pictures that can be used within a map. Now obviously one we're going to use within a house. Uh, we don't want anything that big. So let's go to general. And nothing there I want to use. Clip art. How about if we go to office? And I'll click that one. And then what it's going to do is it's going to add that office here. So now I have all of these uh, graphics that I can use to put within this one. And you can, there's a lot of settings within here that you can change to customize it. Uh, right now, if I go into any one of these and if I click on any of the, let's just go for one of these tables here, you'll notice if you can see it that it is done in millimeters and if you don't want it done that way you can go up to page layout and go to unit and you can change it to all these different ones here 
So whatever prefers you the best. And there's just all kinds of settings in here. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm just kind of giving you a brief idea of what's within the software. So if you download the trial, you can kind of jump in here and get a faster start at it to look it over before you decide if you want to buy it or not. Um, but, but this is how it works. And you just drop and drag is all it is. You just grab uh, one seat sofa. Let's say we want to put that out here in the hallway maybe. You can put that here and then we can shrink it down and make it whatever size we want to and the doors you can um, you can you know you can move them around however you want to put them in here it's really easy to navigate and it's really easy to um, change the images the way you want them to be to make it look exactly how you want it so uh, but really that's all there is to this program and like I said, you can go up here and, and there's a lot of different options you can use. You can uh, insert your own pictures, vector text, uh, different options here under view, symbols. And then, of course, it has its own help section where you can uh, get more information on it and your home link here. And so really, that's all there is to this. Um, there's a section also on their website for free templates, uh, which is... Uh, which is really good if you click on that it's going to take you to their website here where you can see where other users have uploaded diagrams that they've created and you can download and uh, you can upload your own as well and the list kinda of goes on and on and on but the amount of graphics and clip art they have in here it kinda of allows you to do anything you want to do and make anything you want to make as far as your imagination can take you so overall it is a great product uh, you can check it out download the trial like I said, that link is directly under this video. Just click on it. It'll take you to the home page there where you can download the, tree fi uh, uh, the, the free trial for PC, Mac, or Linux. So you can get a better idea of messing around with it yourself. And then you can decide on uh, whether it's something that you want to actually invest in or not. So I hope this review has been helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them underneath. And I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks and have a great day.